This is a review on the GE washer and dryer set. I got this from Costco. You can see the model numbers on them right here. This is the washer and this is the dryer. And uh, the washer is a GFW 550. Uh, the washer is 28 inches. Uh, I know some washers are 27 inches. I just figured I'd point that out. It's very big, it's very heavy. Um, once I did get it level, um, I did, um, once I got it level, I was able to start using the washer um, with no issues. It was a pretty simple hookup from Costco. I just forgot to have them level it out. The dryer was level for some reason, but the washer wasn't. So um, it did take some tinkering with the, with the legs. I did swap out these hoses for um, the color coder ones because they were longer because I needed to, to have them longer to adjust. Um, you really should uh, leave some space for them to kind of rock back and forward. I heard an inch on each side. Um, but I mean, obviously you need more than an inch on the back. You can see here, I have a lot of space so that everything can be set up. But um, the dryer the dryer was, was pretty, uh, pretty easy. I mean, they're not gonna do all this ducting. I did all this myself. This is about uh, 25 feet of uh, of a run this is 20 feet right here and then that's five feet coming up I have two right angles one at the bottom and one at the top there is kind of a 45 degree angle going to the side um, from the back of the dryer but I know that doesn't really count that's part of um, I forget what it's called but anyways uh, that doesn't really count so I have five feet plus 20 feet and I'm losing uh, five feet per right angle. So, you know, 35 feet minus 25 minus five and five is zero. So I'm right at the limit. Um, it, it is 20, 25 feet until I get to this thing, which is like my last piece on there. So, so I'm right at the limit, but, uh, but it does flow very well. Um, I'll show you guys how how the air comes out. Works really well. So this, this washer, does need he detergent you can see when you pop it open right here it says use he detergent only and i know that a lot of people probably know this already about you know washers that need he detergent and you know you might already have a washer like that but i've actually never had a washer that requires that so um for those of you like me that this is new i figured i would show you guys you need something with this little symbol right here, H-E. So this is some liquid and this is some powder. And if you look in here, it tells you liquid detergent only, lift flat up for powder. So if you're gonna do powder, you actually pop this thing open and you leave it like that. So this is for detergent, whether it is um, liquid or powder and um, this is for liquid bleach and this is for fabric softener back here and this is for wash detergent so what I'm gonna do now is do a little test wash for you guys let me pop it open here you can see here that I have it filled up maybe, maybe I'd say halfway, but it's, it's probably a little bit less than halfway, but I'll just say halfway. I just have some uh, regular clothes in here. I do have a couple towels in here, but uh, nothing too crazy. And um, you know, this is uh, the HE model that, that does come with this uh, microband thing here, which I, as far as I know, is a, is a, um, is a GE thing 
and um, it also has the vent system. Um, I know you can press this and it starts like trying to push out any water. I can show you guys in a minute. And uh, well, I might as well show you right now if I'm talking about it. Okay, so we're turning it on. So then it says it's venting, right? Push it again. So see, it sounds like it's trying to push the water out. And then the thing starts spinning. So, um, so what I'm going to do here is going to put some detergent in here. And since I am using liquid, I'm going to leave the flap down, not up like I was showing you guys a second ago. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn the machine on. Oops. Okay, now for the sake of the video, I'm going to do normal. And so I have normal on here. You see that it says 55 minutes and you can choose the soil level. So for normal, because some of these settings, you can only choose specific things like low spin or no spin or whatever with certain things. So you can't just pick whatever you want for any of these settings. But for the normal setting, which is what I'm gonna show you guys, for soil, you can do, looks like you can do everything. So I'm actually gonna put it on light for this one. Actually, no, I'll, I'll just do normal. So temperature, looks like you can do anything. Spin. So see here, here's an example of that. For this normal setting, you can't do low or no spin. So I'm just gonna do everything uh, normal. Um, I will actually put it on tap cold. Then we will Start. Okay, here it goes. We have done a few loads of laundry and I will say that I, I don't see anything like, oh, these clothes aren't clean enough because there's not enough water. I totally get the whole, you know, clothes need water to wash it. Um, but I didn't notice anything in our clothes that, that said, oh, you know, this isn't clean. Maybe it, it needs, you know, more water. At least I didn't notice anything like that. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see what, what keeps happening, though. We've only done a few loads, and we'll see how, how well this, this, you know, washer puts up, uh, you know, the test of time. Um you know, I will say, though, that, you know, maybe, uh, you know, you could add an extra rinse. Um, you know, uh, I guess there's a button here for more water. Uh, so I haven't really played around with these settings a whole lot. Um, I did download the app, and I know that some people had had trouble, like, uh, connecting their washer or dryer and in the beginning I had trouble too I actually looked it up online and it was asking like for some password and uh, you can you can actually see here this this is when I was trying to figure everything out I was like okay so what's the model number what's this where's the password there's like a Mac ID so anyways what I ended up doing it kept asking me for a password I didn't know what it was it, it was telling me to look on the inside of the door I can't open this one because it's it's uh, I'm, I'm using it, but I can open this one, and it kind of gives you some information, right? But but there's nothing about a password. I'm sure there's probably a password in there somewhere, and it was asking you for that. 
but I didn't know where that was. What I ended up doing was, was I left, like I, you know, closed my app, hit, went back in, hit cancel or whatever. I just wanted to start over from the beginning. And then all of a sudden it just connected without asking me for a password. So um, in order to do that, you do need to hold down uh, this, see how it says Wi-Fi right here? I can do it over here. So what you're gonna wanna do is hold this for three seconds. So see, that's, that's how you connect it. Um, but anyways, on the second time I was able to connect it to the app, the app works pretty good. Um, I, you know, it tells you, okay, you have five minutes left. Uh, your, your load's done. I, I did see one notification. Uh, it says your, your clothes have been sitting in there, uh, in the washer for, you know, 10 minutes and they're, they're still wet in there. So it's, it's trying to remind you to, to, you know, finish doing what you're doing, um, which which is pretty cool. Uh, I, I did tell my wife about the app and she's like, no, it, I mean, it's just going to tell you when it's done. And I said, OK, let's just use the app. I mean, we already paid for a machine that has it. I know a lot of the machines nowadays have like advanced stuff and it's, it's kind of hard to get a more mechanical machine. But but let's let's just use it. And it does, uh, you know remove that that possible problem of you leaving your clothes in there and then you know you remember and you and you go over and they smell bad and you have to wash them again so um you know where i live at least we are on a property with with uh you know like a water tank and and so we you know like a well system so we can just use as, as much water as we want i mean it's 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 not like a huge deal to, to use more water than, than you need, but we try to limit it as much as we can. So you can see here that uh, the water's going in there, the clothes are tumbling around. Um, it's a pretty good washer. I, I like it so far, we'll see, we'll see how it does. Um, I did do a lot of research. My, my wife would, would probably say I did way too much research until I found this one. Um, but, uh, but I'm pretty happy with it so far. I did install the, the lip on this washer and dryer pedestal after, after Costco had them uh, put it up here. Just, just in case, you know, anything happens. I do have a kid here. So just want to be on the safe side, but this thing is pretty solid. I mean, this thing is, I know it's being used right now and there's water in there, but even when there's not water in there, this thing is massive and very, very heavy. I don't really see it falling over, but uh, just for peace of mind, I did put uh, two two by fours on there. Um, I believe, believe it goes up about five and a half inches because the first one is attached um, on the side of the table. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Now the dryer, let me just get this thing off there. Okay, so I don't actually have any clothes in there right now. But um, I can kind of show you guys what it looks like. So we have a lot of settings here. So, so you know, for when this is done, I'm, I'm probably just going to do a, let's see. Probably a mixed, mixed load is what I think makes sense for this. I have a couple towels in there, some clothes. Um, so you can see here it says 38 minutes. Now, I guess you can select how dry you want it, like maybe more dry. I don't know, maybe if you have a lot of jeans in there and they, they tend to hold some moisture in the, you know, around the waist area or something, you could, 
You could maybe select a more dry. I've never done that before. But on this mix load setting, it is letting me go to all of these. I'm gonna put it back on dry. At least that's what I think it's talking about. How dry do you want it? Um, okay, temperature. I guess it's, it's going to high automatically. I'm going to put it on medium. And you'll see that time isn't lit up. Um, I think it's because it's kind of uh, sensing it. Um, if you wanted to, to put it on a time, then that would be time to try. But like I said, I'm, I'm still getting used to these machines. Um, let's, let's power it on and see see what it's like one thing i will point out also is that if you hit sound it can either be off low medium or high so that was low that's medium that's high that's off so low medium high off so the next one is low I'm just gonna leave mine all the way up. I don't see any reason not to. I, I live above this, so um, it doesn't really matter that it's loud. Maybe if you you know live in a studio or you live in a you know a one bedroom apartment maybe and it's in the room next over from you, you might want to keep it kind of low. Or if maybe you're using it at night, I don't know. Um, but in our situation where it is in the basement below where we live, I'm just gonna leave it on high all the way. So anyways, there's, like I said, there's no, there's no clothes in here. Um, I'm just gonna turn it on. So the exhaust comes out from the back. I do see there's a hole right here and I believe the other side might have a hole as well. So I know there's a way to do the exhaust from the side, which probably would have made more sense in my situation, but I didn't want to, uh, to mess with all that and it wasn't that big of a deal just to do it from the back and then kind of loop over this way. But this, this process, um, for using the exhaust of a dryer was pretty simple. Um, you could pay someone to do it, and uh, depending on your situation, that might make a lot of sense. But my situation, uh, I thought it was pretty simple, and it's it's pushing air out pretty good. I did buy these machines with a five-year warranty. Um, made sense for me at least uh, for example i bought my my tv also from costco and i bought it with a five-year warranty so to each their own but i'm hoping these machines will well, end up being a good choice That's pretty much it, guys. Show you guys the back of the machine. Here's the little tune. Finished. I guess I pressed something with my hand when I was going around on the side to show you guys the exhaust. One more thing I'll add is that on the Costco website, and I believe on the, the Home Depot website, it said, you know, the dryer needs to be 18 inches off the ground. And um, when the guys came to install it, um, 
they put the washer and dryer on the pedestal that I made, which by the way is 18 inches off the ground. And uh, after they put it on there, he kept taking pictures and he said, oh, I don't know if we can leave them on there because we usually put them on the ground. I said, you know, well, that's interesting because the Costco website says that the dryer needs to be 18 inches off the ground. And, um, and he said, you know, well, we're not Costco basically. And you know, they're their own company. So anyways, yeah, I, I'll just point that out. I mean, I, I made the pedestal based off of the 18 inch thing that it said. And, um, and then after I made it, I realized, well, hey, that's, that's pretty high. I can't even get a top loading washing machine at this point. And in the end, I'm glad that I got a front load Tosh washing machine, but um, I was just trying to follow the directions on the Costco website and the, the, the people who came to install it had, you know, had nothing to do with, with what that was saying. I think that's something that they put on there to kind of protect themselves from being sued or something like that. Okay, hey guys, enjoy. Hope you guys like the video. Okay, load is done, putting it in the washer. They smell clean, I know that. As you can see, I have the towel in here. I believe this load took 55 minutes. The app told me when I was done. Here's another towel in here. Just a reminder for you guys with the front load washers, wipe down the front, even though this model does have the venting system, still going to wipe it down and leave the front open. Oh, that's interesting. I took the clothes out and now venting is, is blinking. I wonder if it'll start doing it by itself. Maybe it's asking me to, perhaps that's what it is. You can see here, it's like pushing the water out, trying to at least. So now it's doing the venting process. You can see it's spinning. Okay, back to the dryer here. I'm gonna turn it on. And uh, we're on mixed loads. If I put it on mixed loads, Standard is dry or high. I'm just gonna start it like that. Gonna go ahead and begin the dryer. So here you go. The washer on the left side is venting, which it prompted me to do it. I, you know, the app told me the clothes were ready. I came here. I opened it up, I put the clothes in the dryer, and then I closed the washer door, and you guys saw it, that started blinking. It prompted me to do it, although if I hadn't pressed it, I don't believe it would have done it on its own. 
although I'm not 100% sure yet. But either way, it's it's G, you know GE found a solution to you know uh, the the front load washers getting musty. Um, so at least some of them. And that's that's what people are saying. That's what people are saying in the comments of a lot of these front load washers. So um, so you can see here we have 37 minutes for the dryer to finish drying the clothes. And the hot air is being pushed out 